to a developing story, gun violence breaking out across the city. By our count, there have been 11 people shot since late last night. Today, New York's Miles Miller is in the Bronx this morning, where one of those shootings turned deadly. Miles? Gus, that's right. One of those victims, Jameek Bishop, he was shot right there on his stoop last night by a man who walked right up to him and shot him at point-blank range. Let's show you the crime scene video from last night. It was 11 o'clock when uh, this all happened. Cops got the call of a shooting that happened. When cops and EMS arrived, they found him shot in the chest and in the face. He was taken to Jacoby Hospital, where we're told he was pronounced dead. Uh, Elsewhere in the city, in Red Hook, Brooklyn, a 30-year-old woman was struck by a stray bullet. We're told by detectives that that woman happened to be standing outside of the Tesla dealership where there was a party going on. A couple of men were denied entry into that party, and they started letting off rounds. She got one to the stomach, but is expected to survive. She's at Methodist Hospital this morning. Then, just about 30 uh, minutes later, on Nostrand Avenue in Brooklyn, we are told a man was sitting in his car at a red light. It was at that time another man got out of his car, shot him at that red light, and that man takes off and leaves his car in the middle of the intersection. The other man was rushed to Kings County Hospital by EMS, where we're told he is listed in critical condition this morning. As you said, we're talking about 10 incidents, 10 shooting incidents, and 11 victims in all of this. This is still an active crime scene. They're waiting for the crime scene unit to come here and collect evidence. We are live this morning in the Wakefield section of the Bronx. I'm Miles Miller. News 4 New York, back to you.